This is the bait. This spirited man is baiting you. He's pulling you in with this installation of a self-timer for his Fujiroid. He's building this rig to suck you in. But this rig is not what the episode is about. This episode is about missing people. This is just the bait. The switch is coming. Here comes the switch. Don't forget that! Okay. This is a vacation. Stop forgetting it! No, we're gonna come back. But he can't come back empty handed. Can't come back with no footage. This is not a vacation from the camera. From the typewriter and the editing suite, yes. But not a vacation from the camera. The camera is on call. Patty Smith takes Polaroids. Patty Smith misses people. For a story, we've got to have surprises. Got to have conflicts. I'll get you. I only know how to get you one way. How do you get you up? Got to resolve the conflicts with unexpected solutions. The hero should go through something and come out better. Unless it's a tragedy, the tragic hero doesn't change and everyone dies. Everyone dies in the end of Hamlet, right? Ophelia dies and Mel Gibson dies. But in the hero story, the hero goes through an adventure during which he rises to the occasion, returns home with the ultimate boon. And a boon is a thing that is helpful, like indoor plumbing or socks. Maybe the story is the boon. Maybe the story is the thing that is helpful. But we've got to shoot the conflicts. Can't just shoot the pretty scenery and call it a story. And when we put it all together with the typewriter and the editing software, we, the storyteller, often, if we've done it right, we get a new piece of wisdom. Maybe that's what we, the storytellers, are after. I went to the East Coast, and you know what I never realized? But we've got to shoot the conflicts and resolutions. The conflicts should impede his pursuit. The resolutions should surprise him, should surprise us. Do you want to see that bridge go up? See it? Do you see it over there? See the big things in the air, those two big blocks? Yeah. Boring, predictable resolution boring story. Wow. Want to balance this thing? Yes. Whoa, 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 whoa. Was it going to rain? What should we do? Yes. I was snake holes on the golf holes. I don't think they have snake holes here, bud. We'll just buy new shirts, and change them in the car. Would we be scolded for trespassing or shot? No. We're in Rhode Island, right now. Rhode Island. And now we are in Connecticut. Massachusetts. Would we make the ferry on time? Van! Yes. I see him, Georgie. <laughs> Would we get arrested for no car seats and no seat belts? Nope.
would we be harassed for not wearing helmets? No. What happened? Would we get a flat out here? Yes, spare? Yep. Would there be enough graveyards? Uh huh. Would the kids get separated in the bramble? Yes, but we'd find them. Beautiful conflicts, but boring resolutions. No surprises. So he thought. The big conflict came from what this spirited man did not shoot. And the big conflict was internal. He did not shoot a rendezvous with Keller because he didn't make it happen. He did see Graham, but he did not shoot their reunion. He did not shoot Graham and his wife and their baby. Last time he saw Graham, there was no wife, was no baby. Last time he shot Graham was Africa, 14 years ago. Last time he shot Clinton was Africa, 14 years ago. Clinton, beautiful Clinton. 14 years ago, they all summited Kilimanjaro together. That's the team. That's the African sunrise. Casey, here's the sign. Uhuru Peak. Peak. Tanzania, 5,895 meters. Uhuru means freedom. And this spirited man's conflict, the conflict that he did not shoot, was this. He had lost touch with people with whom he had no business losing touch. And there was no surprise solution, no wisdom, no boon, just the ghosts of Christmases yet to come. This week on the Patreon, a live stream answering your questions. The link is right there.